sit. Good boy. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Okay, sit. Good boy. Stay. Cover, cover, down, down, you got it. Cover. Working on roll over, but he's struggling with that one. Ready? Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Yes. Good boy. Did he come back? There's some uh, progress. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye. Cover. Down. Good boy. Touch it. Yes. Good boy. Touch it. Touch. Oh, you're still chewing. Touch. Yes. Good boy. Touch it. Touch. Yes. I need persistence now. Touch. Yes. Touch. Touch. Yes. Touch it. Touch. 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 Good boy. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. 
Pass with your hands. Touch. Touch it. Okay. Touch it. Yes. Now switch hands, huh? Touch it. Yes. I'm using the hand that I'm not feeding him with because I want to make sure he's not just going for the food. Touch it. Yes. Good boy. Touch it. Paw. And I want him to stop any kind of repetitive repetitive uh, like scratching or shaking on my leg or whatever. Hey. Touch it. Yes. Paw. Touch it. Yes. Good job. I need him to get more persistent so that sometimes I have to make him wait a little bit longer. Good. Good. Yes. I didn't have to prompt you that time. You just stopped me. So this is his uh, progress on anxiety tasking. I'm running out of traits here, but the point is that when I'm anxious, I scratch or I might pick. And the idea is for him to interrupt that, which he's starting to do really well. But he still needs a lot of practice before it'll become generalized. Murphy. Touch it. Yes. Hey, touch it. Yes, yes, yes. Good boy. Okay, off. Good boy. Lay down. Good job. Sit. Pressure. No. Try again. Try again. Pressure. Yes, that's actually cover, but they're kind of both close enough. Lap. Lap. All the way. Go on. Good boy. Oh, <laughs> yes, you get a belly rub for that. Ew, you got pollen stuck all over your nasty old belly. Good thing they can't see that. <laughs> oh, your sweetheart. I'm all out. I'm all out. Wanna just be silly now? Say goodbye. Say bye bye. Goodbye, fans. Oh. <laughs> He's earned himself some hunting, a scattered kibble. He likes to just nose around until he finds it. I come down here for training just about every day because there's enough there's noise and distractions but they're at a distance so it's, it's kind of like the perfect environment for him to practice his his skills and his tasks and these fun little tricks and be able to do it with stuff going on around us you missed a bunch Murphy Murphy hey look come here there you go. Go find those. Look, there's a bunch over there. And if you're wondering why I feed him so many treats, they're actually just his kibble. Um, I divide his food for the day. Um, he gets a third at breakfast and then he gets a third at dinner and the other third I use throughout the whole day for, for training. I don't know. He gets other treats, of course, as well, but makes it cheaper and a lot healthier to train and treat train and give a lot of rewards to just be able to use his actual food. Did you find them all? Did you find them all? You're a sloppy mess right now. <laughs> all right. Anyway, that's my update. Got this little cool contraption off Amazon. It's a uh, portable dog water bowl, like. Hang on. It's pretty interesting. This slaps down around it. And you just squeeze the water. Oh, I forgot to open it. Sorry, Murphy. Hold on. You just squeeze the water in there. And it's one less thing to carry. 
because the bottle and the bowl are, are all in one. Pretty neat. Oh, and you're gonna dump it. <laughs> you butthead. <laughs> when your dog refuses to come and you call his bluff, he is being a serious brat right now. Oh, look, now you wanna come. <laughs> Everybody do the flop. Come here. Come here. I'm leaving. I'm going to leave. You don't care. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Nope. He just wants to eat dandelions.